Hello you all. I am back. Yet again but this time for around 4 months where you will get more videos. In this video I am performing a chlorooxidation of iron 2 chloride into iron 3 chloride, work outside or in a fume hood. A gas mask is mandatory. Ok now enough warning. So I had a problem I had like one and a half liter of iron 2 chloride in solution. And because Mr. Krabs was a big role model for me I did not want to waste any chemicals. So I asked myself what use this stuff could have. Then I remembered that you can oxidize it into iron 3 chloride. Which has a dark solution with yellow tone. So at first I came up with the air oxidizing apparatus to save chemicals. Again. I am so cheap. But this took forever. But then I got a gift. 20 kilos of hydrochloric acid. Hooray! So I weighed out some trichloroisocyanuric acid. Filled it in my chlorine gas generator setup. Measured the right amount of HCl out. Filled the iron 2 chloride solution in a high cylinder for better containment of the chlorine. And to give it more time to react with the solution. Put a long glass tube with a hose attached in the cylinder and hooked that all up to the chlorine generator. So now comes the point where the gas mask is mandatory. And I am not joking the chlorine can kill you. Now the hydrochloric acid drip rate is adjusted in a manner where only a few bubbles a second are evolved. You really do not want to overshoot because there is no backup containment of extra chlorine gas so the evolution of it should be slow and steady. Over the course of the reaction the green solution turns dark and yellow on its sides. This is the clear indicator that the iron 2 plus ions are oxidized to iron 3 ions. The reaction is finished when no more chlorine gas is absorbed. The volume of the mixture increased by around 50 milliliters. So there you have it your high concentrated iron 3 chloride solution. Have fun and do not kill yourself. <laughs> 